Melanie. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to July Home Fragrance Empties. I'm really excited to say that. <laughs> Most of you guys know summer is not my favorite season. I've been trying to enjoy it a little bit more because I'm trying to live more in the moment versus always thinking about like the next thing, which on my mind is fall, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> But this summer I made a little bit of an effort to try to be a little bit more mindful about just enjoying the season that I'm in and um, just valuing that time because it's going to come around every single year and I got to figure out a way to enjoy it instead of just wishing it away. But I will admit I'm happy that it's the end of July. I have a lot of empties to share with you guys because I have been doing some burning and in full disclosure, a lot of these candles were already kind of at the halfway point or below at the beginning of the month. So it wasn't like I went through a full one of these. It's not like that. Um, so all of them were kind of in various stages of being finished. Um, some of them just went straight to the candle crock. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna be sharing my empties with you guys. I will let you know what I will repurchase, what my final thoughts were in terms of the overall burn. I do have a lot of homework stuff here, so um, I'll give you some final thoughts on that. Some of it is good, some of it is less than ideal, which just generally tends to be par for the course with homeworks. And while I'm on that topic, I have had a couple of people ask me both on my videos as well as just on Instagram what my thoughts are on homeworks not having released any fall um, product yet really um, in terms of candles. They have, refu uh, they have released like a few um, like candle topper things and then some like plugins like wall plugins things but um, nothing really in terms of candles which I have honestly, still being a fan of Homeworks, um, I find that a little bit bizarre to not partake in all of the hype that is going on right now about fall candles. Like, everyone has released their fall candles, their Halloween candles. I mean, there's still more to come from most of these companies, but Yankee Candle, Bath and Body Works, Kringle, um, Goose Creek, like Swan Creek, Root Candles, like all of these companies have started releasing their fall either sneak peeks or just releasing the products and made them available for purchase. And like there have been crickets from Homeworks, which is so disappointing for me because I, I still love the brand. I think that Harry's Nose just is very much in line with what I like. And so for me, um, craving fall, all the time, you know, like I, I have started buying things from Yankee. I have, you guys have seen my Bath and Body Works haul. Like I am, I'm ready to start shopping for fall and I cannot shop from Homeworks cause there's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing to buy. Um, I know it's coming and I am aware of some pretty significant changes that are supposed to be happening, but none of that stuff has been teased or released or I mean, hinted at in any kind of way which seems strange to me to not capitalize on this whole like yay for fall situation that's happening with all the other companies right now so I don't know it bums me out so it makes me sad because I still love homeworks but I mean Harry's gonna do what he's gonna do and that's you know like it's his company so I just hope that it works out for him in the long run to um you know hold back on these like exciting announcements about releases and things that are coming up. I mean, obviously QVC does not ship during the summer months, so that nothing would go out right now, but you could at least like get an idea of what is coming down the pipeline and maybe prepare your budget. Um, I know that's how I work. So hopefully I don't blow all of my budget at Bath and Body Works or Swan Creek or <laughs> Root Candles because that could happen. All right, let's get into the empties because that's what you guys are here for. I'm gonna start with my various candle crock veritables here. Um, blushing pink rose petals. Both, as you can see, just ended up in the candle crock from the beginning. 
mostly because I just wanted to finish them. Um, this is not my favorite rose scent from Bath & Body Works, but I kind of got sucked in when this whole collection came out. I just thought the labels were really pretty, and being a florist, like, this just appealed to me visually. I like the color of the wax, but it's a pretty traditional rose scent. Um, the notes on this were uh, soft rose petals, white cedar wood, luxe sandalwood. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, there are definitely some woody notes in with, like, the fresh rose notes for sure, but it's more rose than anything else. It is soft. It's pretty. I just, I don't know. I'm picky about my roses when I'm buying them at the market and when I'm smelling them in my candles. So I just kind of wanted to finish these, so they're not much smell left. Um, they work great in the candle crock. If you don't know what a candle crock is, I'll link a video. <laughs> All right, more from the crock. Um, raspberry peach macaron. Oh, you can really see. The, see, these wicks just kind of moved. They didn't sink into the candle. Dead. Totally dead. Nothing in here. No more smell. Raspberry peach macaron, as you guys know, was one of my all-time favorites from Bath & Body Works back in the day. I still really enjoy the scent. I don't love it as much as I used to. Um, and honestly, the performance of these were a little rough. They did get pretty sooty. Um, that didn't bother me back when it first came out because we were still living in our old house and I don't know, the damage had kind of been done. But here, uh, I'm not as open to the soot damage. So anyway, I just melt these and they're great. Um, these had the really thick wicks that just produced huge mushroom tops, got crazy hot and just blew smoke like a freaking chimney. So anyway, um, finish these two. Also, and I typically get a solid week. So, and that's leaving my candle crock on 24 seven. And then the fragrance dies and then you let it harden and then you take it out and you're just left with wax. Scentless wax. <laughs> Key lime pie from Sonoma. Some of you might be surprised that I melted this, but I did. Um, this, oh God, it smells like gross wax. Ooh, yeah, that's kind of gross. Is this gonna pop out? Oh, it did. Oh no, it left wax mark on my dress. I really hope that comes out. But hey, look at that. All cleaned up for me, ready to recycle. <laughs> See how the other one gonna do that? Um, key lime pie was delicious. Oh yeah, look at that. Pop. That's the beauty of the candle crock. Um, find them on Amazon. They seem to be available there. Um, but yeah, I liked key lime pie. To me, it smelled more like a Captain Crunch cereal thing. This this needs to come out of my dress or that's gonna be obnoxious. Um, so yeah, I don't think I would repurchase it in the future, but I mean, they haven't re-released it anyway. So yeah, and this was from a couple of years ago. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it was good. It was good. Just, I think I've moved on from the smell, at least right now. Um, here is a raspberry peach macaron. Speaking of this in the mason jar, you can see that I actually, I, I do burn these because these are okay. I have several of those left. Um, this started out in my bedroom and then I kind of grew tired of it in there so I put it in the candle crock to finish it. It is the CLCO Candlelight Company, Jasmine Santal. Um, I buy this at Fred Meyer. So if you're in the Pacific Northwest, um, Fred Meyer is where you can get this. It's a beautiful scent. Um, it's kind of a nice romantic bedroom type scent. Um, it's floral but also kind of musky. It's just very romantic. It's very pretty scent. Um, this, kind of a similar jar, huh? Mm, kind of similar. This is Root uh, Legacy uh, Paradise. This is no longer available from Root Candle, which is a bummer. Uh, this smells like nothing because I did use the last little bit of it in my candle crock um, just for a few days to finish it off. It started getting a little sooty, so when that happens, it gets put away. I would repurchase that if they ever came out with that scent again because it's amazing. It is so amazing. And then let's see, is the rest of this stuff homeworks? Mm, there's a few more things down here, but let's just go in with the homework stuff. Okay. Uh, here we have Berry Trifle, this year's Berry Trifle. Um, I got almost down to the bottom. It's definitely at the wick clips right now, but I decided to just extinguish it during my last burn and just call it good with this. Berry Trifle is my favorite fruity, like, spring-summer scent from Homeworks. Um, I do hope this continues to come back. The burn was definitely better on the three-wick. However, this four-wick wasn't bad. The throw was very similar. Um, it just, um, just wasn't, it wasn't quite as strong, and the wicks sometimes got shorter. Um, 
but not always. Sometimes they'd be fine and sometimes they'd grow a little short, but I don't know. It just, overall, I'm not sad that I bought this at all. Not sad that I bought any of them because I do really like all of them. Well, one I'm kind of sad about. We'll talk about that. Um, this, okay, this looks like a mess because I tried to clean it up. Um, so what I've been doing specifically with these hobnail jars is once I get down to the last burn, I blow out the wicks, obviously the last little bit. And because it's completely liquefied, I've been going in and just wiping the wicks out from the bottom. Because if I try to clean these when they're still warm, it uh, I can scratch the inside. And these are just like spray painted on the inside with this color. So it's clear glass that um, is colored, if that makes sense. So you can scratch that color off and I don't want to because I love this color and I love to reuse these for like cotton balls or you know makeup brushes or whatever. So these are fantastic containers. Um, so I do not like how much of a pain in the butt it is to get these labels off though because they're like these weird paper backed labels this year. So this is a pain to get off. I do know that the Goo Gone works, but you still have to work on it for quite a while. So anyway, pomegranate lychee, didn't love this scent. I thought it was okay. It's just very, it's just a very strong pomegranate that I just didn't care for all that much. It wasn't terrible and people liked it when they smelled it. But for me, to my nose, meh. You guys know I love bakery. That was not bakery. This one I actually really enjoyed, and you can see I did a really good job of cleaning this one out. There's still a little schmutz I'll have to get, and I still have to get the labels off and everything. But this was South Seas Gardenia. This was beautiful, really, really pretty, um, burned great the whole way down, not, no soot, no drowning wicks on this. It was just a really great candle, and I do like the green glass, so not sad about this. I am savoring the Enta Enchanted Peony a little bit because I love that one as far as florals go. Um, and if Enchanted Peony came back, I would definitely repurchase that. Um, I think I would get the Celsius Gardenia again. I think I would, but if there were other like gourmand options, I'd probably go for those. This was delicious, Sweet Spring Melon. Um, great the whole way down. Little tiny bit of sooting here on this one. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but that was just on the very last couple of burns. And I am like a hawk. Like I, before I even light a candle, I see if it's starting to soot and then I just don't burn it. So this happened towards the very end. These uh, wicks did extinguish themselves. I can see the very tops of the wick clips, but there's definitely is still just a tiny bit of wax left in the bottom, but I feel like I got my money's worth out of it. I also love this beautiful orange glass as well. So I'll be keeping all these hobnail containers. Um, let's keep going with homeworks. Uh, coconut cake, delicious. However, this one sooted. And so I did not completely finish burning this one. I actually put it on my hot plate warmer. Um, it doesn't fit perfectly, but it does cover the bulk of this underside here. So when I saw that this one was starting to leave a little bit of soot, I went ahead and just put it on the hot plate warmer and finished it there. I should have honestly wiped the wicks and all the wax out after to make it easier to clean up, but I didn't. Um, and you can see the soot also fell down into the wax here and made kind of a grayish color. This used to be more of like a creamy, creamy colored wax. Love the scent. Um, although I did find the coconut cake much more authentic when it was in the three wick. Um, the four wick, there was something slightly off about it. Still yummy, but maybe a little bit more plastic versus authentic coconut cake. So not plastic in like a horrible way, but it's just, it did smell different, so. Um, more homeworks. Uh, blueberry farm stand, uh, farm stand blueberries. There we go, my little insert. Mm, so sad I can't get these anymore. This burned great. Um, I mean, the wicks did were a little bit floppy, but I mean, I, I, I love these, so I'm bummed I can't get any more. Um, the blueberry was one of my favorites for sure. There's a strong cassis note in that one, and it's just beautiful. Didn't actually end up loving this. Um, and I, I do like this one better than the lemonade, but the iced tea, um, I don't know. Just towards the end, I was like, I'm tired of iced tea. I don't want to smell iced tea anymore. Uh, so... 
I actually think I ended up finishing this outside, which makes sense because you can see that there's like a little schmutz from outside in here. Um, we were having like some people over for dinner and I was like, oh, this might be a fun summer scent to put outside. And so I finished it out there. I wouldn't repurchase this one um, just because I grew tired of the scent. Um, but it's, it was, if you like iced tea scents, you'd probably like that. Not that it matters right now because we're almost at the end of summer and um, iced tea is kind of going out of favor. These I think were actually from last month if I remember correctly. Are these going to pop out? Oh, this one does too. This is freaking genius. This is going to be so easy to clean up. Two more key lime pies. I think these were actually leftovers from last month um, that I was still kind of warming in the... Is this one going to come out? No, this one's not, but it is raining some wax on my dress because that's what my dress needs more of, wax. Um, Stella stuck her fingers in this before it's hardened completely. Um, but yeah, so there, it was left over from the end of June is what I was trying to say there before I got distracted. Finally finished this. Oh my God, it took me forever. <laughs> Nest uh, Sparkling Cassis. Definitely, this is very strong Cassis. Um, it's very sweet. Uh, this tiny little guy scented almost my entire house. I'm not kidding you. Nest uh, candles I find um, are a little bit deceiving because you think like, oh, it's just like a one wick. It's not really gonna do that much. Some of them are incredibly strong and potent. Um, in this case right here, I would never buy anything bigger than a votive in this because I feel like it would choke me out. It's very strong, very sweet can be cloying, but as long as it's in this smaller like format here, then it's okay. Um, but it, if you want a strong candle, buy this either in the traditional eight ounce one wick or um, like in the three wick, I think it's available in the three wick. Oh man, you would probably choke out, but I did like it. I don't think I'm gonna repurchase it. For the holiday time, I prefer Nest Holiday. I prefer Birchwood Pine. Those are go-tos for me. Um, so that's what I'll be doing going forward. And then I've got some wax melts. I'm gonna run through these very quickly in the interest of efficiency. Happy birthday, you guys know this is a holy grail favorite of mine. It is in my Scentsy Club subscription. I'm getting three bars of this every time I get my Scentsy Club subscription, which is every three months. It smells like Funfetti birthday cake. I cannot recommend it enough when it comes back and bring back my bar again. Just get it, don't even question it. It's amazing and it's a great performer. Pineapple coconut vanilla. I had this in my laundry room. I thought it was okay. Um, it's, it, it is what it says. It is a pineapple, it's a coconut, it's a vanilla. You can smell all three very, very distinctly. Um, I will say I, I like pineapple, but it, ha it has to be a very specific type of pineapple. Um, it can smell kind of artificial. I actually feel like Harry does uh, pineapples really well. I do love most of his pineapple candles, but this was okay. I wouldn't repurchase this. Sweet Plum Pastry. You guys know this is a favorite of mine, but I did take it out of my Scentsy Club subscription because I have so much of it. I just, I couldn't keep getting it. It was too much. So, but this is delicious. If you can ever get your hands on it, do it. Another Sweet Plum Pastry. Melon Apple Granita. Yummy. Really yummy. Oh, it is Bring Back My Bar, um, which by the way is ending at the end of July. So get what you want, either in an order or get it in your Scentsy Club because once this goes away, it's locked in that Scentsy vault of theirs and they may not bring it back for another few years. Very fruity, heavy on the melon, heavy on the like cucumber honeydew melon notes not so much watermelon um and there is like a fresh apple note in here maybe like a it's a sweeter apple more of like a honey crisp type of apple it's it's good it is good uh sugared strawberry this is in my scentsy club subscription because it's ugh, so good this is a very authentic strawberry with like a squeeze of lemon so good I've got three of these. I'm skipping around to a different brand right now. This is uh, Goose Creek, which I don't I don't purchase from Goose Creek anymore because I just, I don't know, I don't. They've just done some stuff in the past where they tried to censor some reviews from people and I don't know. I feel like every brand is gonna have good stuff, every brand is gonna have mediocre stuff, and every brand is gonna have some bad stuff. Like it's, that is what it is. 
Sometimes it's hit, sometimes it's miss, like it's just gonna vary. Um, but I don't think that brands should censor the feedback from customers because that's helpful for all of us who are buying. Like if something sucks, then don't buy it, you know, like and tell other people not to purchase that product. Um, they can take your advice or they can't. Um, so I don't know. I just feel like customer feedback is super important also for continuing to grow your brand and that kind of stuff. It doesn't matter. I'm just not buying from Goose Creek, whatever. Uh, but their peanut butter sugar was delicious. I have several of these left. I'm just trying to get through them because honestly, I've had these for quite some time. You can tell that the wax is starting to like turn like a weird yellow. It's time to finish them. Uh, Eskimo Kiss, delightful, a great bathroom scent. I've said this before, it smells like a fancy lady bathroom cleaner. Sweet Plum Pastry, Blue Grotto. Blue Grotto is a great dupe for those of you that like Capri Blue Volcano and you find you don't get enough from the candle itself. Boost it with this. Um, Blue Grotto is very similar. They're not dead on dupes, but they're very, very, very similar. Same like citrus base type note. Um, yeah, a great way to boost the scent throw. So, um, and then Skinny Dippin', which is delightful. Skinny Dippin' is great. It's it's sweet. Um, I get a lot of melon notes from this, kind of similar to the apple melon granita. Let's see these side by side. Yeah, definite melon notes in here, but maybe a little bit more cantaloupe in this. It's very summery. It's very, um, for some reason this reminds me of the beach. I don't know why, because it doesn't really have beachy notes to it, but this is just something if I were going to like a tropical destination and I were to bring some Scentsy Wax with me, uh, this is what I would bring because it's just very summery, very refreshing. Um, it's sweet, but not crazy cloying. It's just, it's good. So um, also I've been, I have several of these going in my house. Uh, the Bath and Body Works Wallflower and Strawberry Pound Cake, really good. I like this a lot. So I have been using the wallflowers a little bit, but I bought all new wallflowers. Um, I get very nervous about keeping them for more than a couple of years because I know there are some issues with house fires with those. And I think that has a lot to do with like using like the older wallflowers just like over and over again. They do need to be periodically replaced. So if you're using them, I would highly suggest replacing them periodically, especially if you use them consistently so but anyway strawberry pound cake is delicious and delightful and those are my empties I did good but I'm ready for fall you guys I am gonna try to burn through just a couple more of my uh summer scents just to get them out um because I don't need to hoard and again I need to enjoy these things so um I will have a lot more summer empties for you guys next month and in the meantime, I'm also incorporating bringing in some fall things because I'm reviewing a lot of Bath and Body Works fall candles right now. So look for a lot of those reviews coming up over the next couple of weeks because I did pick up a few more of the fall scents as well. So um, coconut macaroon, perfect. Is it perfect autumn? Perfect autumn day? It's sitting over there in the bag. Um, but anyway, some other things. <laughs> Look for those reviews coming up. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.